much visceral fat do you want to have? So I got this uh, question posed to me uh, through YouTube, and it basically was from a follower who wanted to know how much visceral fat that they, they ideally want to have. So um, the fact that somebody who follows me has to ask that reflected immediately me in me that I have failed to impress upon my followers, at least this one, how bad visceral fat is. The answer is buckus. You want none. It's disease. It's not like it's your muscle or your heart or something beneficial. And so sometimes people tell me, well, you know, I read online that uh, visceral fat uh, protects your organs. It destroys them. It doesn't protect them. If it was going to be protective, first of all, the body doesn't need protection like that. It might give you shells or something like that, but that just reflects poor insight about the perfection of nature. If nature wanted to, to provide some kind of perfect, per, uh, protection down there around your organs internally like that, it would put a, a substance in there uh, that did not create inflammatory molecules that cause disease throughout your body. Nature is perfectly capable of putting something inside your body that does good. Your muscle, hair, your heart, your liver, your kidneys. Not visceral fat. Visceral fat is bad. It constantly secretes trickle, trickle, trickle inflammatory molecules. So the question about how much you want, the answer is none. You want none. Or the other way to answer is, how much disease do you want to tolerate? Well, how much disease are you comfortable with? How much arthritis are you comfortable with? How much constipation are you comfortable with? So stop thinking about it being something that you want to try to find the ideal amount. The ideal amount is none. So that's what we're going to be talking about here. And you can get more information about what I'm going to be covering in this particular thing in my latest ebook, okay? Eventually this will be out print copy. We, we create a bunch of print copies so we can give this when Dr. Sean is going on the road. So you can look for me, heads up, I'll be traveling around the country, uh, introducing other practices, other doctors are coming, becoming Dr. Sean uh, practices, uh, and we'll be giving these books out. But for now, you can go into my profile, uh, link in my profile to get the ebook and read it and get more educated about the content that I put out that's unique and nobody else is talking about. All right, so let's, uh, let's cover a few things. All right, first of all, abdominal MRI scan. We're looking at the top, the abdomen, the ears. So this is kind of like your belly button, and this is your back. So when you get an MRI scan, and I hope you do get an MRI scan, you lay in your back and your belly's up in the ceiling and your head goes into the scanner and this is the inside revealed inside your, your belly, okay? So the question is how much of this white stuff do you wanna have all of this inflammatory stuff surrounding your beautiful gastrointestinal tract, okay? So if you ever wonder why you end up getting disease in your GI tract as you age, like you end up with incontinence, you start having bowel movements in your underwear, or you start needing diapers, or you start leaking your urine, it's because all this inflammatory molecules surrounding your beautiful inside, okay? You do not want any of that stuff. So when you see a lot of this white stuff, what you don't see uh, much of, particularly over a period of time, is the dark stuff. You know what the dark stuff is? Your muscles, your beautiful muscles inside. So as you get white, the black shrinks. So how much, how comfortable are you with your muscles shrinking? when 80 and 90 year old guys are, and women are all shriveled up and they need out. Go help Miss Daisy stand up from her chair. Well, it's because all that visceral fat Miss Daisy had tolerating it inside her abdomen over a period of time, shrinking her beautiful muscles all over her body. This stuff doesn't just affect there, it affects your muscles here, your muscles here, and then you can't carry your groceries and you can't even sit up in a wheelchair. Time for Mr. Sam to just stay in his bed today. He fell over in his wheelchair yesterday, so he's, he can't go in the, a wheelchair anymore. He's just in the bed from this point on until Mr. Sam dies. You don't want that happening. All right, get rid of this stuff so you're, so you're tracking that. All right, here's another example of how much 
uh, deep subcutaneous fat. If you got a lot of this stuff, you want to tolerate this, then you tolerate these love handles that are, are associated with the exact same thing as visceral fat, causing the inflammatory molecules spread throughout your body, destroy all your tissues and your beautiful cells. So those guys' pictures, um, those MRI scans, this is his body. It's really not that fat. You see, you do not know what's inside your body unless you get scanned. If you're walking down this guy, looking at the beach, you're like, not a fat guy, not a fat guy. You might be looking yourself in the mirror and saying, I'm not fat. I'm really not that bad. Well, you may be better off than other people, but what do you have inside of yourself? That's what you need to find out. And who cares about all the other people in the world? You want to care about yourself. And that's why I work with people and I advocate the N of one. The number is one. We're studying one person. We're studying you. So when you come and become a client of mine or one of my future practices that we'll be launching, including this weekend, we'll be launching our first practice um, outside down in St. Louis, Missouri. You're going to want to understand that. So my future partner, Dr. Alejandro Sanz, will be, will be available to start seeing patients, and I'll introduce you to Dr. Sanz coming up this weekend. But for the time being today, we're talking about how you can be filled with visceral fat and not have a bad picture. But look at his abdomen, okay? So this is the other thing you need to see, the bulge of the abdomen, the dad bod. Now, he doesn't really have too much of a dad bod. That diameter right there from here to here is not that bad. But you can see that, that angle, and it, it's because of weakening of these muscles that it starts bulging out, okay, as that visceral fat is present, trickle, 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 it causes those muscles to be weak all over. So how much, how comfortable are you with your muscles shrinking? How comfortable are you with your muscles performing uh, less efficiently and having uh, less strength? So that's the presence, the influence of visceral fat, all those inflammatory molecules uh, contributing to your, your, your really your, your disease process and your, ultimately your demise. So this is, a ch now we're looking at the chest, right lung, left lung. In the middle of your lungs is your heart, okay? So the same guy, and by the way, he's only 42 years old. This is not an old person. They've accumulated in their short 42 years all that visceral fat. So if you're 50, you're 60, how much more do you have? If you're 20, how much do you have? You need to know, get that scan. So look at his heart right here, and fat shows up as white in an MRI scan. So look at all that fat. That's not visceral fat. We're up in the chest around the heart. That's inflammatory fat up against his heart. That's directly causing disease in that organ, that heart. So how, how, much, how comfortable are you with that? You, you, want, you want to have some of that? No, you want none. So that's my heart, uh, my heart right there. Uh, I got none, and that's the way I want it. I better have none because I'm the world's expert on visceral fat and get rid of these dangerous fats. It's what I specialize in. It's my passion, but you can be there. And when you get rid of that fat, you look good, you perform well, and your quality of life takes off. So that's what I, I want to share what's happened to me with other people. That's why I have this passion to be able to do this and get out there in social media and talk about it. All right, let's look at another consequence of what happens. I looked at his photographs, and yeah, uh, see, hair, 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 whoop, loss of hair. Now, a lot of people think this is from uh, a loss of, you know, from wearing socks. Socks play a role, but what's really happening is this tissue is so diseased, the hair is so weak that uh, he's losing his hair on the anterior, anterior, lateral, outside aspect of your eggs. Take a look and see if that's happened to you because decreasing blood flow from visceral fat causing vascular disruption and endothelial uh, dysfunction uh, in your vasculature means poor blood flow down here and you lose your hair. So it's a common problem. So don't blame the socks. The other thing you start to see is your, your toes start, start falling apart. Your toenails get gross and thick and, and, uh, and yellow. So um, you wanna uh, take a look at your feet and see 
if your feet uh, are starting to die from their toes first because of declining blood flow. That's why diabetics start having so many problems in their feet because of reduced blood flow down there. Oh my God, if one doctor would just say, we better check your visceral fat and get rid of that. You could save so many lives, improve so many lives. All right, uh, the next thing I want to take a look at are some of these vessels. This, I apologize, this image did not come up nearly as clear as I intended to do, but you can look at your spider veins, which are these telangiectasias are the technical term for spider veins, but oftentimes you get them on the medial aspect of your, your, your ankle, right in this area here. So take photographs of yourself and you know, watch and see. As you get rid of visceral fat, they'll disappear. Those purple, gross, blue, dark color vessels will gradually turn lighter color. They'll turn red, a lighter shade of red, eventually light pink then they're gone. And when they're gone, hey, hey, that means blood flow is going good, your endothelial cells are working, nitric oxide is working, you got blood flow, and eventually you'll be getting visible pulses like I get in in all my clients. So you wanna be watching, watching for that improvement as well. All right, another problem is that visceral fat uh, forms in, in, in other areas. Like this is down low in the pelvis, and uh, this right here is the prostate, so you get fat around your prostate. And then you wonder why, if you're a guy, you're having problems peeing, and you have you got this weak stream, and you're waking up all night long uh, instead of having your Niagara Falls. You used to blast like a fire hose. Now it trickles out, and it's real weak. So uh, you need to know what kind of, what's going on with your your prostate. What's what's happening around there? You go to a prostate, especially a urologist, they never talk about it. They talk about surgeries, medicines, things that. That, uh, that they do that make money instead of what you need to do to change your life, get rid of that visceral fat. The other thing is take a look at, you know what that dark thing is there? That is your rectum, your anus, okay? You want uh, to have a super healthy anus because that's what's gonna keep your stool in unless you wanna have some kind of accident in your pants, okay? Look at all that fat that's formed around that particular anus. So that's a real big problem you do not wanna have that kind of a, an issue going on, okay? So be aware of that particular marker. And by the way, that fat can form around your bladder, okay? So uh, all your organs can be um, infiltrating, can have those, those fatty markers show up. All right, so uh, I told you about the problems. We're gonna get into the solutions. And uh, uh, before I get into the solutions, I wanna say, take, you know, one thing, because uh, a, a reader asked me yesterday, why do you wear scrubs? when you do these videos, I'll tell you why. Because my passion is to save lives, first of all. Save lives on emergency medicine, doctor, uh, residency trade, board certified emergency medicine. And that's what I trained to do, save lives. So first and foremost, I wanna save your life, and then I wanna optimize lives. If I get one person to click on one of my videos, as they're scrolling through, instead of seeing some ridiculous entertaining thing, they say, well, let me see what the doctor is gonna say. This looks different. And I can save their life, it's worth me doing it. So I do that. And the other thing is I'm a licensed physician and I examine patients, okay? I have my hands, I examine my client patients, all right? So I do wear scrubs for both vocational reasons and also to save lives and that's, that's why I do that. All right, well, let's, let's get into some of my solutions, okay? You can take a screenshot of that and I'll blow it up so it's a little bit bigger uh, so you can see, you know, what, what take a screenshot of that and uh, you'll, you'll be able to capture uh, what you gotta do to get rid of visceral fat, fat around your heart, fat infiltrating your muscles called human marbling, the technical term for this is myosteatosis. And uh, if you wanna get more information, you can take a screenshot of my links, okay? How you can find out about working with me, get additional information, you know, drshawnomera.com, my Instagram handles, my YouTube handles, my Twitter handles, my Facebook handles, and I'm also on TikTok under uh, doc, Dr. Sean O'Meara as well. And so um, uh, I'm also the fourth, fifth one, sixth one up there, is uh, LinkedIn, so I'm also on LinkedIn. I'm gonna to try to get on as many as possible to save as many lives 
so that I can bring my unique content, which is health optimization, okay? I, I don't promote you just to lose weight. You know, if you, if you just want to lose weight, you're going to hate me if that's all you want to do. Because uh, I want you to live better. I want you to get you to thrive and help you live better. So that's what, that's what you'll be able to do. And uh, um, if you have, as always, um, I like to invite people. If you have any questions, let me know what your questions are. I will try to answer those questions. And if you uh, have any comments, I welcome comments uh, from my community. And if you uh, have any uh, suggestions for further videos, I, I welcome them as well. And, uh, and please share, uh, share my content. With, uh, with people that you care about, that you know about, people that you think uh, would be interested in uh, optimizing their health, people that you'd like to help uh, try to get them to save their life, and um, just anybody you know that you, you, uh, you love and care about. I'd love to have uh, my content shared with as many, as many people as possible. I'm gonna try to pick it up in the social media space because um, I'm not a good fit for conventional health. You're not going to see a lot of conventional health systems uh, promoting my message of uh, changing your life uh, using natural strategies, not using uh, medications that may have uh, side effects, particularly in some cases uh, dangerous side effects and uh, long-term consequences. So uh, I, I am a licensed physician. I can prescribe medications, but uh, um, I, don't, uh, I don't routinely do that. All right, well, uh, if you're really interested in working with me, consider coming to work with me, and I'll look forward to uh, seeing you again on another uh, live and other optimizing videos. Dr. Sean out.